Welcome Jay. to the VIP section. Jay, baby, y'all. Uh. Yes, yes, y'all. It's your boy, Jay, baby, and we are back. The team is here today. Jay, baby. What's good, boy? Buenos dias, amigo. Yo, this is happy to have back, man. You've been, you, you, man. You've been on a run lately. I've seen you was running around. You was with, um, what's that name of the day? Um, Angelique. Who? Um, from... One hundred five point one. Oh no, that was a throwback because it was a tequila day, and um, you know how to create memories come up on your story. Yeah, and Angela Yee loves Yave, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the homie. Even okay, Cup too. <laughs> and shout out to Gigi Maguire, yo, the whole lip service loves us. They yes. love baby. Give them a bump. They love the dirty side. I like their show. Sydney Poitier. Sydney Poitier. <laughs> no, no, yo, I like their show. Nah, they fast. show. You know, they talk about you know like you know, the the great relationships women. was going on. You know, and they even talk a lot of Pound Town stuff too. I respect that. LV. Always love my brother. Yo, what's good, you know, what's good, the, 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 the extraordinaire, you know, the chef, whatever. He's doing everything. And Tom, don't no, know, can't do none of this without you. We started from the mud, definitely. And today, we are here with your man, White I. Yes, sir. What's and good? You know, I, I say, I love, we outside. I love <laughs> what the White I, the young Impala, we in Paula niggas. It's right. Liddy. It's Liddy. It's Liddy. What's good? Liddy. Yes, Way sir. too Liddy to Let's get it. <laughs> Let, yes, sir. So let's get right into that. The Way Too Liddy oh, tour. How did that start? And how did you come about even, you know, putting all of this together? You know, it ain't easy putting a whole. Forget about guys are trying to throw clubs. You're trying to throw a tour. How did you put that together? Man, well, first of all, thank y'all for welcoming me on, welcoming me on y'all platform, man. It's a blessing. I appreciate it. Big fat. Um, we have yo, that. man, we man, have bro, love, man, love. So, um, basically, I linked up um, with with my guy Mike. Y'all know Mike, um, and then I linked up uh, with a uh, Northern Empire as well, uh, and uh, we came together and decided, you know, let's go ahead and throw a tour. Um, so my company, Bigger World Regime, uh, and Mike and Northern Empire, man, we kind of came together and said, yo, not only let's just do a tour, but let's do something to where we give independent artists an opportunity to, you know, widen they base, widen they base, and then also give one artist a chance to change their whole situation with a $50,000 single distribution deal uh, through Bigger World Regime, Adash Music, uh, and Sony The Orchard. Uh, as well as the Spence paid trip to Turk. So it's just a whole vibe, man. So, you know, we, we put it all together and man, now we got 30 plus cities, man. And we about to tear it up, man. First date is June 30th, Galesburg, Illinois. Um, and we going up, man. That's Wait till right. com, man. Tap in. You feel me? Okay. Okay. Kudos for even having the, 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 the audacity to put a tour together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> For real, I, that's I, what I do, man. Yo. That's what I do. This is my this is my fifth independent tour, my G. You know what I'm saying? Oh, why? Like we, not to cut you yeah. off because this is this is very important about that tour. But I gotta give you though you you gotta get the, the what every artist that came on the dirty side and got with us because it ain't street, it ain't hood, it ain't it ain't hip hop. If we don't give them a, what we have, our classics. Go ahead, El purge them. Yes, sir. Why I is in the building. We had to purge him tonight. That's a fact. <laughs> Why I, 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 yo, Tone. Like, like, no, like Tone said, putting together a goddamn tour is something sickening. So, okay, continue what you were saying. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. It was definitely a grind. Yeah, man. Like, like I say, I've done, you know, touring is one of the things I do. Um, and uh, I'm excited that uh, we're, we we got this opportunity to to really, like, hit all these different cities, um, really dive into the culture um, and, you know, make a, make a difference. Um, we got a lot of dope artists on the tour, HD for President, uh, DA, uh, 4PF Badass, um uh J uh J Area Alize uh Jarea Alize I'm sorry make sure Tony get um, all the music make sure yes, sir. Yeah, VIP get yeah, all the Darius music. Malik like yes, man sir. bro we, we got a lot of a lot of dope people on here man so I'm excited that oh Glorilla's ratchet ass friends like yeah, shout out yeah. to Big Glow yeah. um yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, show, we, show. We, we talked about it offline we rock with glow up here one and two I just want to ask you being from the A you know I went to Clark Atlanta University you know what I'm saying 
I got yeah. the opportunity for Atlanta, making it look good, and, and just for the whole sure. city, they embraced me, right? Yeah. Shout out to for sure. Oh, Talking man. about Glorilla, it's funny. She bought um, Blueface's pregnant wife out on the stage no way, at her man. show. Yeah, they just did Summer Jam, for yeah. sure. Oh, and fine. she came out fine. pregnant, twerking, with Poom Poom shorts on. <laughs> Pound Town's is it. Hey, That's why. Give him a pound, yo. <laughs> yeah. Love it, Bell Town. Shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, shout out to Big Red. Yeah, shout out to Big Glow, man. Glow, real ones. Oh, Glow. The niggas are the Pound Town. I call the chicks the Pound Town. <laughs> we reversing it on them. They try to reverse it on us. Yo, but why, why being from the A, what artists, what big artists, and what major movements and tours inspired you to do this? Because I know you from the era, you know what I'm saying? Good question. I moved to Atlanta in 05, so you know I'm from the era, like that era. So what inspired you? Well, what inspires me, man, like my inspirations are more so like Russell Simmons, mm. um, Jay Z, um, 50 Cent, um, you know, uh, Diddy, you know what I'm saying, Puffy, like those guys are who I look at, uh, DJ Cali, um, because of who I would compare myself to in respects to peers, like, no you know, these guys, they, they're, they're brand guys, they're big business guys, so like, that's what I kind of model myself and my moves after. That's hence I'm a mogul. You know, I executive produce shows and do tours and write records and you know artists as well. But it's just I'm all encompassing. So if you kind of mix all those guys in together, you are gonna get me. But something even bigger because you know what I mean I'm I'm one of one. You know what I'm saying? Did that's why we rocking with you. That's why we rocking with you. Well, hold hold before you. did you see that uh the J Jay Z the backstage document movie uh the tour thing? You talking about uh, Rock the Mic? Was it Rock the Mic or was it the, called Backstage? The it was called Backstage, but it was chronicling Rock the Mic. It was, it was the Rock the Mic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was Rock the Mic. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny because we're actually shooting a reality show on the tour, on the Way to Liddy tour. So Dope. every artist who's involved, whether it's an independent artist, one of those 10 independent artists that we're allowing each city for the chance to win the 50k or whether it's you know da or hd everybody's gonna be on the uh the uh the uh reality show so we're the first tour that's actually shooting a reality show you know you know what i mean so that's think about rock the mic tour on steroids because you know we litty big about so, so, uh, so you said jay you said um dame dash and jay-z is one like one of the guys that inspired you Oh, yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Their business acumen and how they literally, like, because, see, I'm the type, like, you can't tell me I can't get some shit done. It's going to happen, B. So, like, let me ask, let me ask. You know so when I mean? it comes to getting shit done, are you more yeah. business-minded like Jay-Z or are you more like Dame Dash? Mm. Um, when it comes to getting it done, and there's no wrong answer either way. Is I mean, I would say, I would say that, I'm both, bro, because they both kind of are the same, but they're different in how they approach things. I, I feel think you. I feel you. The be that's the best way to put it. Like, oh, hold both, on, hold on. yeah, like, like, oh, you know, he going, yeah, man, yo, that, that's cool. We'll, we'll get together. Dame, like, yo, nigga, this is what's happening. Right. I'm the boss. Fuck you. You're cool. You know what I'm saying? So that, it's like, yeah. that, yo, let's go. I'm glad you brought that up. And you too, why <laughs> I got something for both of you guys. Yeah. Did you hear when Dame Dash, he discovered and knew when Rockefeller was over? And it goes back to yeah. what you said, Tone. Remember, yeah. I was Remember I was arguing with you about who invented the game pause? Yeah. Okay, so Dame Dash said they used to, they used to run around, he used to say pause all the time with Jay-Z. So he yeah. said one time they was in the elevator. You heard that, right? And Jay Z told him, "I'm a grown ass man. I don't play that no more." So Dave Dash <laughs> said to said himself, no "Oh, it's over." Yeah, I was stupid. <laughs> That's his opinion. Shout out to Jay. <laughs> shout out to Dave, oh, man. Him, two two pillars. Two pillars, two pillars of hip hop, man. Like, like we would not be <laughs> as evolved in hip hop as we are now without Jay, without um, without Dave, and what they did, and Bigs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them boys, man. Like, they laid the groundwork. And, you know, That's sometimes you gotta have that that first person that goes through those those ups and downs and turmoils to know what to do, what not to do, or and or how to handle things. You know I what I'm saying? Know if the, I don't know.
know if there's a hove without a Dame Dash. I would love to start the game. I mean, for sure. I can agree I with that. About it, my dude. That dude was enforcing things to go down. Yo, listen. You heard how he was talking to Leo on the rock. But at the same Bring time, though, rush. too. Bring that back, and, Russ. Stop and I, and I feel us. that, right? You need and that. And I feel that. And I feel that. But the only thing I'll say to that is nobody can stop God's plan. Exactly. So Amen. at the end of the day, like, yes, because you can name tons of people over the years who such and such may have you know, help them, influence them, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it's God's plan, baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Amen. I'm glad you said that because if it's God's plan and you believe in that, Dame Dash is in the plan of God's for redemption. You know what I mean? I, I give you that for sure. For you know sure. What? Let me tell you. Redemption. For when sure. you run a business and you got to do everything, it's hard to get it done. You got to have a team. You be the rapper. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He might have yeah. smoked some blunts and game plan things, but that man was the enforcer. I saw it in my own eyes at 17 years old, bro. Yeah. But also, too, I think it, it builds a deeper conversation to say, at what point is it okay for you to branch off? And I'm not, like I say, I'm not on either side. Like, I, we don't, nobody really know all the deep inner workings of how that shit went down. But just from the outside looking in, it's like, at what point am I allowed to grow and to like be like, okay, hey, I want to do this myself because we all got families, right? We all got families. We all want to leave legacies. We all want to leave something. That's one thing I fuck with Dame on. Like, <laughs> nigga, he was on a breakfast club. Like, yo, we got cookies, nigga. Like, my yeah. kid ain't go. You ain't gonna never be able to f fire my kid. So I fuck with that, right? Yeah. But it's like I also fuck with Jay on some shit. Like, yo, I've evolved mentally. I've evolved. To a point to where, like, hey, I want to oh, no. do these we things. But it's just about how you go right about it. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. Heavy. Ain't nobody Damn in my stuff. circle dislikes Dame or Jay-Z. We we love them guys. I, right? I, I, right. Would, yeah. Damn I would love, those guys I would like love icons. Of course. Course. I would love we, to see a Dame Dash and Jay-Z reunion. Not not on you know, the, It's going to happen at some point. You got to know it because it's just it's too big for the culture. It's, gonna, it's just like... Jeezy and fucking Gucci in a versus. Like, who would have thought that shit would ever happen, right? So, no, like, word. I think that it will happen, but it's going to happen on its own time, man. You got to think about it, too, guys. These We're getting older. These guys are older. Like, certain shit just don't really matter as much anymore. When you talk about, not to say that it doesn't matter that they re reconcile, but it's just like, okay, bro, even if they just had a simple call, for which, for all we know, that could have happened. Like, uh -huh. the media are always twist whatever right but i mean you know i just think i would like to see them come together and just maybe like put up put an artist on like yo me and dame will come together and we gonna do a, a, a way too litty tour you know what i'm saying we giving right, an artist right. you know what i'm saying i think some shit like that would be like crazy like so yo plan, we're gonna plan build planning a whole tour are you like sitting down a lot of paperwork a lot of like, do you have to get a lot of licensings? Do you have to get a lot of insurance? That's the great thing about that's the great thing about having a team. No, fuck no. I'm the one that's you know one of my my duties is getting the getting the talent, um, tapping in with the radio markets, tapping in with um, different influencers, um, and then of course being the face. Like I'm hosting. I'm you know what I mean doing all these things. So everybody plays a part in the tour. You know what I'm saying? Like, How long is the tour? But no, I'm not a I'm not I'm not a big paperwork person. We got somebody else who handles those things. Only paperwork I'm handling is if like, you know, I gotta hit my lawyer to draw up some shit for I'm not drawing it up, but my lawyer's gonna draw it up. You know what I'm saying? So But no, I'm more of the like I say, I'm more of the DJ Cali. I'm more of the Diddy of the move. Like I do a little bit of paper, but for the most part I'm the, the mouthpiece and the face and get out of you know, ball. on the well, ground in the booth. That's everything. That's everything because I'm gonna tell you sure. for a company to run the mouthpiece and the organizing and the thing that puts everything together. No, it's, it's serious. Uh, just imagine if you had to do all those other things also. It's not it. it, it the mouthpiece becomes worthless. Absolutely. Yeah, everything. And you can't like you got to be you got to trust people to do their jobs. Right. You got to be able to let. I, I remember one time I was in a um, I was at a meeting, man. Big ass company meeting with some guys. You know, I had invested in a in a company, and uh, we were just kind of sitting at a table. And uh, this lady, she was like, "Yeah, you know, I'm here today just to kind of 
you know, talk to you guys about ways that we can, you know, be more efficient with this, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there listening. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, you know what I mean? Because I just got my steak and come. And she was like, you got to be willing to let go of some of your Legos. Like, a lot of the times, like, people like myself were very talented. So, like, we're, we wanted, oh, man, I can, I got to handle this. Ah, man, it's okay to let a few of your Legos over there to let them build a piece of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Send a few no. of those Legos Preach. over there and let them build the Preach. wing. Let Preach. them build the motor. <laughs> Preach, my brother. Yeah. For real, bro. Like, you yeah. got to be willing to do Good that. Morning. Like, Okay, so how long? How long is the tour? Is the is the is the first run of the tour? Um, first run is like thirty dates. Um, kicking off June thirtieth in Galesburg, Illinois. Um, Ju July first, I think we're in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Um, so those are like the first two dates. Um, but we're going all over Illinois, Shout to the uh, Indiana, Ohio, Georgia, Carolinas, Florida, Texas, like. We we going all really for the rest of the year, but yes, and you can go to way too litty tour dot com to see all uh, any and all the uh, uh, dates, um, at least the dates that we've announced. Um, we also got some special events uh, that we're going to be doing some car shows, some different things. Uh, we were going to be doing something for BET uh, weekend, but with this writer strike, I don't, I don't know if uh, BET is going to be happening. Um, but yeah, man, like the tour is, is fire, man. I'm excited. Like I said, we're giving away $50,000, man. I'm about to say, yeah, you giving away $50,000, then 50 you know what I'm saying? You better holler at why You know what I'm saying? If you Shit. giving away $50,000, yeah. you, you want to get that Tony? Tony, you know what I'm saying? Wait, Wait, Liddy to us, nigga. Wait too late. Liddy, we Liddy. We Liddy. Liddy. It's like the that, regime, bro. bitch. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted, I wanted, uh, I know it's early. I know Tone's already having steak and eggs back there, and Paulie's having a mimosa. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> early. <laughs> early. Yeah. Okay, so I, I wanted to talk about Young Thug's brother. He got nine years. Um, for I guess everything that's going on with this whole Young Thug thing. Yeah. yeah. How is that? How, how, is that like? The beginning of what they're trying to put together, the plan for them. We're talking about the. Well, I mean, if I understand correctly, with him, um, he actually had got out on the plea, you know, like you know, a couple of the other guys, um, and it was like, you know, as long as you keep your nose clean, uh, you know, you you get out probation in nine years, right? Uh, but I guess he got caught with a gun oh, or oh, riding geez. around, and he, you know, there was a gun in the car or something. And man, the judge stroked him yesterday, bro. Said, bro, you're going back for nine years. Like, terrible. Damn, it was just so like, damn, man. Free, free thugger, man. You know, free Luchi, free all, free every every black man that's locked up that should be with their kids, fact. man. That deserve a bomb, right? Straight that's up. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's Straight up, man. Yeah, Incarcer yeah, mass yeah. incarceration. The U.S. is number one in fucking incarceration, bro. I'm not saying, I'm not, we're saying, we're I'm not you know. Block 36. Bro, yeah, bro. Like, block you know, hey. You know, everybody, granted, you know, we got to live with the decisions we make, man. But, man, bro, you just hate to see uh, hate to see people go go away for those years. And they got kids, man. So, you know, freedom, boys, man. And, you know. That's a fact. Got to stay out the way. That's a fact. So, you ever been to Hot 97 Summer Gym? Uh, no, I have not been yet. Okay, but listen, I'm gonna tell you, it's it's nasty work out there. It's, it's like bad. it's yeah. back. It looks it different out there. <laughs> yo, you better wear some glasses when you go out there. Yo, <laughs> Sunday was the first time in years they didn't get no rain. Yo, yeah, it, it looked like it was about to. It's like you about up. to hate on them, right? It held. It held. <laughs> I was mowing my lawn. I said, yo, it's yeah. like twenty yeah. years straight. You twenty years straight in rain. I was yeah. in the backyard doing more. Yeah, I was talking to my boy. He, I was talking to my boy on Facetime, man. Shout out to Keep Cash, uh, Glorilla's uh, road manager, man. I was talking. Hell. Facts. Yeah, yeah, she was out there, man. Glow, glow, rocked out. So yeah, I, I got a chance to see it, but I just wasn't there. You feel me? Well, did they tell you anything about this whole Cardi B? You know, like on stage, you know, Prodigy, Summer Jamming. Um, sorry, rest in peace, Prodigy. But Mob Deep and Summer Jamming, all yeah. of that. Right, right. You know, Ooh. like Ooh. hey, shout out to Cardi. Cardi, I, I, did, yeah. she, Cardi did that to Ice Spice. Wow. That's nasty. Serious? That's nasty. Cardi work. Summer Jam screamed. Where did that Cardi? come from? Where did that come from? Uh, Cardi Summer Where Jam. Where did that Ice come Spice? from? Yeah, so how do you think Ice Spice was feeling in On backstage with Sheridan? She was probably she was like, I don't like, know. Like, but I like, just know like, Ice Spice. Like, like, I, I, I don't know how she was feeling. Like, too much. Ah, hey, she went for it. She's like, yo, like, like, she might have been crunching like, like, No, she was crunching munch. 
Because, yo, <laughs> hey, I don't know how she was feeling. At the end of the day, Body is a fucking mega global star. I'm about to say, I don't know how she's she she feeling, but she's still, she she still young, young in the game. You gotta if you listen to Cardi. every song, yes, it's like, if she's not talking about Cardi B, it's like, who else you talking Bonio. about? It's like, that's Tony. I didn't know that. Hold on, Tony. I didn't know that. It's like that. Listen to every uh, song. To every Price. song. She from the Bronx. I want both of them to win. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, why I? I want everybody to win. Like, like, everybody to win, man. Cause you grown for everybody to win, yeah. bro. I'm like, why I? I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sir. I'm like, why I today, to man? You feel me? That's a fact. Okay, hold on. Barty is too influential for her to beef with this girl right now. She doesn't want the problem. I don't yeah, know. Who, I don't I don't know who I don't know how to how... or rap like her, but don't do it. Sorry. Uh-huh. Ooh, Cardi don't like, want... I don't know Cardi how... No, Ice Spice um... don't want that with Cardi. Oh. Of course not. You kidding me? Yeah. No, but my thing. thing is, you know... <laughs> Yo, she's she... going to make Cardi come outside this summer and, and take over the city again. And she got the sword. <laughs> oh, oh, Cardi definitely about to be outside. Yo, summer, baby. Up. I can't I say it. too much, but just know, we outside. Ray G, her DJ, man. That That's remix with Lotto is going Ray G, crazy. my man. That's my guy. They, 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 and they got something up there. We outside. Facts, we outside, why? You know that. And there's, there's a war going on with all these females. It's all about whose side you want. If you want Nicki Minaj but, for your but remake. But guys, think about it. Cardi B for your remake. I don't think like about that. I want shit. the queens to unite, man. Y'all, think about this. I hear you, right? But hip-hop, bro. It's hip-hop. Yeah, it's hip-hop. It's, it's hip-hop. always going to be, yo, I'm hotter. Yo, who the fuck is you? Yo, Move me off the off the throne. It's no yeah, different. It's just it, right yeah, now. Yeah. Let the spices heat up. Shit, really it's just right, 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 right now. Dirty side today. Let's go. It's just right now, women. She gonna have to earn it. She got yeah. to earn it. Yeah. But look, yeah. Ice Spice. Yeah. 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 No, we love. Hold on. Ice Spice, we love you. But if you want the top spot, you gotta go through Body. Okay. And Nikki. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. And Remy. Cause she from Castle Hill. Okay. I got some. I got some goat talk for y'all this morning. Since my man talk that goat shit. Contact sports. He brought up Dame Dash and Jay Z. Okay. We know we be on here with the young boys too. They don't ever bring up these niggas. We be like sometimes. Sometimes we're like. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We want to talk about the goats. Talk to us. Okay. So I got some goat talk for you guys. Fabulous. Trade it all video. Remember. Um, yes, trade it all. Oh, yeah, I heard you had Kobe. Yeah, he had the Jordan Kobe, Kobe jersey with the Jordan. That's a classic. And the bandana. Classic. Right. Okay. He said that Kobe showed up to the video shoot. He heard he was there and he had the jersey on. All right. So Kobe was there. So he went up to Clue and said, Clue, we should ask um, Kobe to be in the video. And Clue's like, You asked that nigga to be in the video. <laughs> so Fabs, he went up to him and asked him in the video and Kobe said, nah, I just came to show you love. <laughs> yeah, regular shit. Regular yeah. Shit. But come on, son. How he gonna be in a trade-off video? He not that, yo, whoever... The what script, you mean? They yeah, have more money on, with Yo, but yo, why I? Why I? Why I? Come on. That's probably why he but hold on. Yeah. But even why I push it together. Come on, Kobe not supposed to be in that video. That's a love song. No, even hell alone, no. Even alone. Because, because with chilling. videos, it gotta make Obviously. sense, bro. Yeah. So you like, saying that it, that, it, that it make sense? No, fucking Kobe the GOAT? No, nigga, we're going to need to, like, actually put Kobe in a scene that makes sense. Exactly. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean Man. you can't just business. throw Kobe in the video? In the video. No. no. Fuck no. <laughs> he got to get dropped in from a plane. He got to be in a plane. something, a nigga, plane. like. He's right. You know He's what I right mean? Right we got to plan this out, nigga. This is the GOAT. Nope. Yo, why why I does tours, man? We gotta put that together right for Kobe. Yeah. Nah, we got to. Man. Why I does Kobe tours, go, man. He does tours. Fucking He's different. Goat, man. Facts. Nah, that's that's what's up. Nah, I just wanted to bring that up because that's yeah, go talk. Go. You know, that's Kobe nah, Bryant and uh, you know, the whole everything. So when the when the tour when your tour um is it, it, getting to an end, like, are you planning the next one or you just want to rest for a little while? Because you know, that's that's supposed to be draining to be on these tours. I ain't gonna lie, it ain't no rest for the kid, man. Like we 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 in search of greatness, my nigga. So yes, I'm already yeah, like, you know, like, I'm like, like right you know, you know, I ain't know, even gonna they, hold you, know you like yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what they say like let the like, I can't say a whole lady. lot. But I got a big ass tour that's gonna be announced while I'm on this tour, my nigga. Like Oh, and like, you're gonna be on that one, or whoever you gotta see what they hell do. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be on that one. That's no, why I got I'm a team, about, baby. I'm talking about these guys on this tour. No, 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 no. This the, the tour that's gonna be announced is gonna be like an arena tour, like some okay. shit like that. Got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Not and that's not to say, you know, these guys are dope, like you know, but we doing we doing clubs and venues, you know, that that fit 
the what what we're currently doing with the way too litty tour like i said we ain't doing bigger than maybe like 1500 person venues but with the tour that i'm announced while i'm on this tour the way too litty tour it's gonna be some shit my boy so that's crazy yeah I'm so yeah i'm always the working i'm always looking to you know hit them levels but like i said you don't have to mention me with the ghosts man <laughs> real straight up yeah, we gonna get yeah. money, yes, yes. Okay. For real. Okay, so Tone, um, how how can they? You have a ticket master. How can they get in? If like, you want to get they... tickets to the tour, go to way to liddy tour dot com. That's W A Y the number two liddy L I T T Y tour T O U R dot com. Artists can register to perform. We're only doing 10 artists per city for the chance to win a 50K in the Turks and trip. But if you want to buy tickets and come check this dope-ass shit out, go to waytoolittytour.com. For everything. Got, it gives you information you, on what artists can look forward to. It gives you information on venues, ticket costs, all that, man. So I got definitely one, tap I got, in. I got one question for you. Why, why Turks and yeah. Caicos, bro? What was the motivation for Turks? Because that's my spot, man. Shout out okay. to my boys out there. Mr. Star, Jason Turk. My nigga. Hey, man. He got, he, my he nigga Brady Legend. Right you know what I'm saying? TCI most wanted. Like, bro, my guys out there, nigga. Like, I, every party I throw out of Turks go crazy. So I got to take it back to Turks, man. I'm oh, the geez. reason Drizzy and them start coming out there, B. That's a fact. Oh, we got to go out there. Now, have you guys, have you guys, do you guys like Block Boy JB? I fuck with Block Boy. I mean, okay. you know. He's saying the only rappers that are better than him are Eminem, Drake, and J. Cole. The rest of them are beneath him. <laughs> well, it's always, hey, I'll say this. If you don't feel like you're the best and you don't tell yourself you're the best, you won't be the best. So, you know, if he feels like he's better than those guys, show me. I'm going to show me stage, I don't really bro. think he said anything crazy. He, he named the nicest niggas and said, those are not the nicest niggas, though. Yo, That's what I'm saying. Block Boy JB, much respect, right? He's the Black first Boy. artist to do a feature with Drake that I feel like did not capitalize, right? Yeah. Because we like the look alive, hot mm -hmm. record. But yeah. every nigga that you can name that did a record with Drake in the last fucking 10, 15 <laughs> years, then blew like great, right? They ain't stopped so, rolling since. Now that's crazy. That's yeah, a good, that's a good so, point. Uh, oh, one more thing I wanted to talk about before we get out of here because I definitely, definitely want to check out that that tour, man. But one thing, way too to litty tour dot baby. Yes, indeed. Are you litty? Are you guys gonna have it on YouTube? Litty. You guys gonna have it on YouTube? You guys gonna have it on YouTube and everything where people can yeah, see? Yeah. So the reality show will be airing, dropping on YouTube every week after the, you know, what I'm saying, uh, and then ultimately. You're going to be able to catch it on the on the big screen. But, yes, we're going to be dropping joints on YouTube. Also on the website, waytoolittytour.com. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Like, <laughs> it's the first ever tour reality show, son. Hip-hop. The culture, Fire. nigga. Congratulations, The regime, man. baby. Congratulations, my guy. That's a fact. Now, um, one thing, Tom, before we get it, that I did want to talk about. They said, she, I don't know, what's her name? What's homegirl that, um, Rasul came on. We interviewed him. What's the name? Kim Porter? Kim Porter, yeah. Okay, Kim Porter's mad at Puff because she called him out after Justin got arrested. What did Justin get arrested for? Yo, I don't think it's Kim Porter. I think Kim Not is... Not Kim Porter. Oh. Um, what's the name? Yeah, Misha. I'm about to say R.I.P. Misha. Misha. R.I.P. Kim Porter. I think she passed, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, F Misha. I'm sorry. Not Kim Porter. Misha. Her. Why? Why did, did what happened? Why did how did Justin get arrested for? I, he's never been like a I don't know type of person. I think it was a DUI trouble. or something. I'm not oh, real wow. familiar. Yeah, because that's know. what I'm saying. He's not a troublemaker. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's cool, I mean? man. He's part he of the light skin nobody. delegation. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him get mad at people though before, and get crazy on the gram and all of that. But other than that, I've never seen like he's not the type of person that seems like he's gonna be out there doing like he don't. These guys don't gotta do criminal crime things. They have a billion dollars. I always say, man, listen, bad things happen to good people all the time, bro. You just got to yeah. roll through the punches, my nigga. That's that's life. That's that's the universe. But if you believe in God's great promise on your life, you'd be good forever. Yo, you, got a good, you got a good attitude.
trust, and trust things. That's why things are moving and happening for Amen. you. Amen. I receive them in the name of Jesus, man. God is the greatest, man. For real. Okay, and we want that for you. That's a fact. All right, man. So before we get out of here, man, let's let's rewind things back. And let's go back to where I had to ask you this question. I just wanted to get through the interview and get through the morning show. Okay. Who's better, Melo or LeBron? Carmelo Anthony. Shout My man. Should have got yeah, rookie too. of the year. Should have got. My brother, hey. LeBron, my brother might even think Braun is better than Jordan. And I fuck with LeBron. Don't get it twisted. I'm from <laughs> Ohio. Like LeBron, I LeBron's fuck with not LeBron. Better than Jordan, right, Hirsch? So you trying to say your top three is maybe? So you should, so I would love to say who's your top three. That's, that's tough. tough. You say Melo. So come on, so, I gotta say Melo. You say Melo's better than Braun. You know why I gotta say yeah. Melo? Because he came to our community and he helped build the. I don't know what the hell that has why. nothing to do with. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, why? On top of that, Melo and Open Gym. <laughs> Mellow and Open Gym fucking kills. Crazy. Guys. He's a bro. Mellow. We talking about until... practice? Yes. <laughs> because LeBron, we are, we're I mean, talking about LeBron, LeBron James. Stop LeBron been going to championships. Yeah. It's me. Yo. It's my LeBron opinion. LeBron James been going to championships God bless since him. he was in eighth That's grade. What's up? I fuck with Mellow. So you bro, said, me hey, said, he bro. Can't, he can't fuck with LeBron. Hey, question. I got a question. Wow. Yo. I gave it to you. I so, know you give 100. So who should have... Hey. <laughs> so, so here's a question, right? Who should have got rookie of the year that year? Melo or LeBron? What you think, Tony? Who got it? LeBron. LeBron got it. No, but Melo should have like got 30. it. And I'm telling you why right? Melo should have got it. Mellow went to college LeBron, and won a championship, hey, like, guy first year, like a diaper look, dandy, man. I fuck with, I fuck with LeBron, <laughs> LeBron the strong way, right? I fuck with LeBron the strong way, but they both of their teams won the same amount of games the previous season. That's why they had the number one and number three pick, right? Mellow took his team to the playoffs his rookie fucking season, a team that only won, like, fucking 12 games the previous season. There's no way he shouldn't have got rookie of the year. But yeah, they had the dope ass draft. They had like, like six all stars, including Allen Iverson, on the niggas on the team. Not, oh, not his rookie year. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His rookie Eventually, year. Not his rookie year. My fault. Nah, fault. his rookie. I'm talking about his rookie year. LeBron and Melo came out the same year. They gave it to LeBron because he was, you know, the face of the league, whatever. But Melo took his team to the.